What up, what up, what up, fellow agents? Pure Prime here. Today, I'm gonna show you my defensive build. My kite build for Boomer, Buddy, and of course, Weasel and his goons. Are you ready? Let's go! Yes, guys, there it finally is. The defensive, or yeah, the kite build that you can't miss in the level 40 Operations Dark Hours raid. This build is especially made to take the aggro so all the other party members can do their damage and won't have to worry about getting aggro from any of the first three bosses. We use this as Boomer to kite him around not really using the shield, but it's needed to proc the defensive talents to help out your teammates. On Weasel, on the other hand, you will have the aggro from Ricochet or Dizzy at all times, and those miniguns are hitting pretty hard. On body, it's again mostly the procs that you need to support your team, then hiding behind your shield. <laughs> But enough gameplay guys, let's see how this build works. What up guys, welcome to the build. This is a defensive or the kite build to kite Boomer, Weasel and his goons and of course Buddy. I showed you a few clips before and of course yesterday you could see me running this with the whole raid. I explained the whole raid yesterday so if you still have problems beating the raid or even finding people to beat the raid i got a very nice video for you but let's dive into this build guys as you can see i'm rocking the eagle bearer and just because i can use that behind the shield only an lmg is not usable behind the shield and the lmgs are our meta in the game right now but yeah i'm using my eagle bearer and then I'm using the M1A just because it still hits for 306k on my build. And as you can see, this is only a defensive build, so I don't have any extra power for my rifle whatsoever. The talent is perfect lucky shot. It doesn't really matter because that won't work behind my shield and I'm just here for the defense. So let's jump over. I'm beginning with the three piece golem and why the three piece golem because that gives me 10% status effects not really helping me but that 1% armor regeneration and 5% total armor is helping me and that's why I went for golem and a three piece doesn't really matter where you put it but I got some very nice pieces on the other gear so but yeah you're gonna see that in a few minutes so I rolled the core attribute 170k on there and yeah that's a must have for this build. You don't have to go for weapon damage, skill damage, whatever what kind of damage because you are the kiter. You make sure that your team has the armor and you have the aggro so your whole team can just focus on doing damage instead of worrying about going down or even getting the eye or the aggro from some of the bosses then i found it with 9.2 percent critical hit damage and a skill repair of a max of 20 percent and i got a 11.3 percent skill haste mod on there then for my knee pads that these could be a little bit better i would love to have some skill haste on there or something like that some skill repair but yeah, I found it this way and yeah, it's pretty decent. Still gives me that 10.9% critical hit damage and a little 3.5k armor regeneration a second. And that gave me the opportunity to roll that 170k armor on there. And then for my almost most beautiful part of my build guys, and look at this vest. I found it this way. So 170k armor maxed, 20% skill repair maxed. 10% headshot damage maxed so I could get a 19.2% skill repair myself on there and gave me the opportunity to roll Vanguard on there and of course I'm still looking for a perfect Vanguard but look at this chest guys this this is just too good of course you want maybe the headshot damage way but yeah, I'm very glad that I could roll that Vanguard on there. And the Vanguard is a must have on this build. 
Deploying his shield makes it unvulnerable for 5 seconds and grants 45% of your armor as bonus armor to all other allies for 20 seconds. The cooldown is 25 seconds. So when you see the blue bar, so the extra armor disappear, just wait for another five seconds, get your shield out again, and everybody gets that 45% extra armor for 20 seconds again. So you don't need to have the shield in front of you all the time to give you and your teammates that 45%. No, you only have to flip it out once and put it back. It's easy as that. It's it's very nice. It's very nice. And yeah, that's my pieces of Golan, guys. Then, of course, I went for the Giligard because that one piece will give me another 5% armor and you want to be a bullet sponge. Yes, you want to be a bullet sponge just like the enemies are. <laughs> I found it with 170k armor on there, a skill repair of 20% on there, and that gave me the opportunity to roll 12% skill haste on there, and I put 12% protection from elites as a mod. Calvinize on there because that gives another 40% extra bonus armor for 10 seconds for your teammates that are within 20 meters of someone who I throw my grenade to. As you can see, I'm rocking the blind grenade, so the flashbang grenade, and Calvinize will give everyone that is blind and share, confuse, or shock 40% extra bonus armor for 10 seconds. So this is very nice. And like you know, and I mentioned a couple of times, this is pure defensive build. This is for you and your team. So you are the guy that is always aggroed and your team doesn't have to worry about getting downed by one of the bosses. Then I went for Alps, not particularly for the skill repair, but for the skill health on there, because this is the motherly law of gloves. And these you can just craft. So you can craft these and you will always get that 20% skill health. And why 20% skill health? Because your shield is a skill, so you will get some extra health for your shield. I found it with 10.5% re repair skills on there. And of course, I rolled a 170k armor over that utility. Yes, this is normally a utility, but I rolled that core attribute to armor. And why? Because I want that skill health. And there is another named item in here, and that's the holster from R and K, the forge. And this one gives you 10% shield health. So another extra health for your shield. That incoming repair isn't that great, but again, I'm doing this for the shield health. I found it or somebody dropped me. I can't remember it, but it has 9.6% skill haste on there. And again, it was a yellow core, but I rolled that 170k armor over there so it boosts my shield as well and of course i'm turning myself into a bullet sponge but yeah guys that's pretty much the build the whole setup shotgun doesn't really matter of course you can use it behind your shield maybe you can take some enemies down to get an armor for yourself but you are mostly aggroed by the boss so you won't take down anyone and then the skills, of course, guys. My shield has a cooldown of 15 seconds, a health of 5.8 million. Yes, guys, 5.8 million. Can be a little bit higher, but this is good enough. This is good enough. It has an active regeneration of 63k and a holstered regeneration of 98k. The PvP damage modify is 3, and because I'm rocking 6, tier blue so defensive i'm getting 60 percent active regeneration 250 percent shield health and 40 percent holstered regeneration and you can also use this or combine this with skill so you don't have to roll everything away so let me show you 
I got another hole. Oh shit, I rolled a blue over there. That's uh, that's a little bit stupid. Okay, let's see. I got another yellow. Okay. Yeah, let's take this yellow. So I'm equipping it. And you see, I got five blues and one yellow. But when we go to our shield, it still say tier six. So you can combine blue and yellow to boost your shield. Of course, because it's armor it's defensive and that's why the defense will boost your shield and the yellow because it's a skill so you can combine this still with some extra skill power or some extra skill tier if you like it yourself but i'm good with going for the full protection so the full armor build and then of course the revive hive guys it is needed because if you are taking down, you can just pick yourself up instead of one of your teammates need to run to you and probably dies himself as well. And that's pretty much it, guys. I can show you the stats, but that isn't that great or isn't that important. The only stats are important are, of course, the shield. We are using this shield, as you can see, just to protect myself from some bullets and yeah of course from boomer but boomer will hit you directly on your armor but it's mostly used to get your teammates that extra armor and of course yourself you can kite boomer uh, without the shield so just flip the shield and flip it back and then kite him back because if you get hit you can still get hit like four or five times before you get downed so that's 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 pretty nice so you don't need the shield on boomer but as you saw on weasel you need the shield because they have that big ass minigun on there and they will aggro you because that's your job so that shield is definitely needed to get in front of you when are you are rocking weasel but yeah guys that's pretty much it for the build today Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribers button. And of course the notification bell. Pure Prime out.